Hi there, my name is Temple Clark. I'm a storyboard artist and uh, I'm in Fest to present my work and uh, talk, talk to the very interested audience. So, tell me, what was the context of uh, this presentation today? I had to discuss uh, how storyboards develop the vision of the director. Okay, so uh, what's the, your work when, when a director calls you, mm -hmm. uh, what he says. I want you to make uh, the draws this way. I want you to imagine. Well, he wouldn't, he wouldn't ask me to draw in a certain way because if he's employing me, he kind of m must like the work. Oh, yeah, so, okay. um, but then if, uh, depending on what it is that he's wanting, I may change the style of drawing. So if it's very detailed work for visual effects, I would draw neat and detailed work or if it's an action sequence, then it might be quicker and looser. Um, so I would, I would adapt my work for depending on what was required. At some point, you, you, you've talked about picture directors and people directors. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you like to work with both? Or? Yeah, yeah, I, I, it doesn't matter. I mean, they're, they're the director and I work with however they, however they, yeah. they are. Um, you know, maybe I like the, the people directors because they're into the acting and it's really enjoyable discussing things or discussing scenes with them. Um, and the picture directors are quite often like, we cut to this, we cut to this, we cut to this, and I'll do that. And the, the emotive side isn't maybe as strong. So I, I may, maybe it's, maybe it's, I hadn't even thought about it, but maybe it's the people directors I like working with more. Alfonso Cuaron is one of them. Do you know what? A lot of directors are kind of both. Yeah, okay. yeah. What's it? What's Alfonso? Oh, I don't know. He's, he's, he's both. He's both. Yeah. Yes, because you talked about Ridley Scott, uh, a picture uh, yeah. director. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I would say that, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, what makes a strong story barber? Well, I think what I was, I was talking about was being able to relate to the director, uh, find out what it is that they want. What do they need from me? Do they want my input or do they just want me to draw what they, wa they want to convey? And um, so that, that's the first thing. The second thing is an ability to draw, to make it clear. Uh, and that, that's kind of it, just clarity, to make it clear for everybody else. Once, once the director's uh, vision is tied down and agreed, then it's to make it clear for other people, for the rest of the crew, that are involved with it, like visual effects, special effects, art department, whatever, um, to make it clear to them what's going to be going on. In, the, in one part of Harry Potter, I think, uh, you have the, the, the drawn of the light. Mm -hmm. um, do, do you do uh, that uh, often in, in your storyboard? If, if they want uh, more finished boards, more detail, more uh, drawings to give the atmosphere, mm -hmm. then I will put that in. Um, but often if it's just shooting boards, I don't need to do it. But a, a little bit of shading just to give the drawing solidity. Um, but some of the Harry Potter drawings, they were specific that they wanted to show the moonlight coming in and they asked me to do that specifically. Um, I tend not to do it, it too much because that's really the DOP's uh, thing. I can suggest a sort of an atmosphere, but I wouldn't do specific lighting. How much time do you work in a normal story? On, a, on one film? Yeah. Well, I, uh, it depends. Like maybe on a very low budget film, it may be something like four weeks. Um, the most is about, tw well, that I've worked on is about 20 weeks. But I, as an average, 12 to 16 weeks, three to four months um, on one film. Yeah, that's, that's an, on a quite a big, regular, fairly big film. That's, it. that's the average amount. And do the film change a lot from the, the storyboard? Often. Some uh, again, it depends. Sometimes depends. completely, and sometimes not at all. Um, but, but, but is that usual? To it, it, it's half and half. What, what's usual is to have some stuff the same, and then other bits they've discovered on set mm -hmm. a, a better way of doing it, or the actor will come up with a different thing, and they'll go right. Let's let's go with this, which is great to see as well. Um, yeah, it doesn't bother me if it changes because the, the process of storyboarding has tied down the sequence for the director 
and then if he wants to then bounce off in a different direction when they're on set, that's that's fine. But in his mind, it's tied down. He's 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 clear in his head. And about that uh, storyboard, that about the action scene, that you uh, didn't believe that the, the 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 scene was good like that, and then you see the movie. And, uh, oh, do you mean with all the soldiers lying on the ground? Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, that was that was something that they discovered. As I said, they di they discovered it on set. Nobody, we hadn't thought about it. And uh, they were, this is a scene where there's lots of, of soldiers lying on the ground. And when I saw it, I just thought it looked fantastic. And I hadn't thought about it. And like I said to the director, "Where did that come from?" And he said, "All the extras were sitting down having lunch." And then the first DED said, "Right, ready to start shooting." And they all stood up, and he saw this all these hundreds and hundreds of men all standing up at one time and he went that's fantastic let's use that so that was a something that they discovered on set that hadn't been thought about sometimes it's just a it's just a second it's just a mo yeah it's a, yeah yeah exactly okay what was the most satisfying story part for you do you have one or? well i think that one for cold mountain was that i think that was the most satisfying in terms of my relationship with the director, um, Anthony Minghella, and my input, what he asked me to do, and I was able to do it, and it came to fruition, and it looked great, and um, so I think, I think that. I mean, lots, of, uh, I've, I've enjoyed lots of ones, like, um, I was talking about an, a, a very low budget one called Love is the Devil by John Maybury, who was a director, and that was about the painter Francis Bacon. That was a real treat to work on. That was, I really enjoyed that. Um, no, it'd been plenty. It'd been plenty. The Little Mermaid, great fun. No, no violence, no fighting, no killing, just singing and dancing and being a crab, and it was great. <laughs> You said that uh, sometimes fight scenes are like uh, choreographies. Of well, they are. They have to. And they, they, well, it is like that. I mean, fight scenes are like that. They have to be choreographed and worked out. And um, when you were talking about some directors don't use storyboards, mm -hmm. and so when Gaspar was here yesterday, he was saying he didn't use them at all, which is fine. But but um, if there was complex fight scenes, I think you know he might need to. Actually, <laughs> don't say that. Okay, okay. But, but I understand. What <laughs> yeah, you are yeah, saying, yeah. It, right. It's needed for different for yeah. different things. So. Okay. So, uh, uh, have you been to Spino uh, before? It's your no, this is my first time. And what do you think of town? Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, well, the festival is so friendly, mm -hmm. and uh, everybody just you, you have these magic cards. <laughs> If you got one of these, anybody can come up and talk to you, and you can talk to anybody, and everyone's very welcoming and friendly. And uh, you know, we we love it. Um, it's great, and I've been around the town, and it's you know it's it's just really enjoyable to to be here, and I'm going to come back next year. Okay, thank <laughs> you. And thank you. Okay, my pleasure. My pleasure. Once again. <laughs>